my name is Megan. I'm the Managing Director here at the Lakes Region Humane Society. Welcome. I'm missing my partner in crime, Deb, today. She's on a much needed vacation and we hope she has a good time. But we're going to tell you about some upcoming events for September. So first and foremost, we have our Play for the Pets Golf Tournament, which takes place on Friday, September 13th at the Kingswood Golf Club in Wolfboro. It is a super fun tournament. $125 per person, you get Bloody Marys, Continental Breakfast, there's a lunch with awards ceremony after, there's lots of on-course games that you can participate in, there's snacks on course, there's player goodie bags, you get all sorts of fun stuff. Um, so we're looking for players for that. Again, it's September 13th, so sign up soon. Um, also, if you'd like to become an event sponsor or a tea sign sponsor, you can give me a call and talk to me about that, those options. The number here is 539-1077. Um, you can also register online for that golf tournament at lrhs.net. Um, the same is true for the helicopter golf ball drop. That's sponsored by Gary Shaquan Construction. And what that is, is you can spend $10 on a ticket to for a chance to win $1,000. So we take the number off your ticket, we write it on a golf ball, and then at the end of the golf tournament, around 1.30 in the afternoon on the 13th of September, we're going to put all the golf balls up into a helicopter which hovers over one of the first greens there at the Kingswood Golf Club. Some brave soul drops all of these uh, golf balls, hangs out of the chopper and drops them all over the hole. And whoever's ball gets in the hole first or closest to the hole first wins that $1,000 prize. You can buy as many tickets as you want for a chance to win. You can buy tickets on lrhs.net. You can buy tickets here at the shelter, at the Kingswood Pro Shop, and there will be board members selling those tickets at Hunter's IGA on September 17th uh, from 9 to 1. And if you don't make it to that, there'll be more board members selling more tickets at Harvest Market in Wolfboro on September 18th from 9 to 1. Um, also, same weekend, Sunday, uh, September 15th, we have a very special guest coming right here to the Humane Society, uh, our th author uh, Rob Gutro. Um, he has written a couple books on pets in the afterlife. He is a paranormal investigator, an author, a medium, um, and he came and spoke last year. We had a room full of people who watched him. He's highly engaging, very interesting stuff. Um, he donates his time to come. We charge $20 per person, full donation straight to the pets. So we hope you'll join us. Uh, that's going to be from 11 to 1 o'clock on Sunday, September 15th, right here in um, the multipurpose room at the Lakes Region Humane Society. He will have books for sale and he will be doing a book signing after the presentation. You can register for that by calling us or by going online to lrhs.net and signing up there. We also have, uh, we're partnering with the uh, Wakefield Food um, Pantry to put on the AARF walk, ARF walk again this year, and that's at Turntable Park in Wakefield. Um, let's see, it's going to be Saturday, August 31st at 11 a.m. So there'll be little booths set up, there'll be doggy treats and giveaways for you. We hope that you'll come and that you'll bring your dog. Uh, we do a little parade just to kind of raise awareness. Um, for the two nonprofit organizations. Uh, we march from Turntable Park down to the Poor People's Pub, have a lovely photo op, and then we march back. Um, it's a good time. It doesn't take a lot of time. Um, people who join us are encouraged to bring a donation of a pet supply and a food item for the, uh, the food bank. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to give us a call at 539-1077. Otherwise, you can show up uh, at Turntable Park on the 15th. Um, want to remind people that there are low cost options for spay and neuter out there for you. Um, Rosie Mae, Animal Alliance here. These guys are located in Conway. You can give them a call. You could um, plan a spay and neuter appointment for your dog or your pet. Um, they also come to Tractor Supply to do uh, cat spays and neuters. Highly low cost. It's what does it say for the dogs up to 25 pounds? It's only a hundred dollars for a neuter and 125 for the females. You get an exam, you get the surgery, you get uh, ear cleanings, nail trims, fleet treatment, and a rabies vaccination. So it's a really good deal. The deals are even better for cats. So 
contact the Rosie May uh, Animal Alliance online or via phone if you're interested in learning more. Also, always a reminder that I like to do, keep dogs on leash if they're not on your own property. Dogs are animals. I know we like to treat them like people a lot of times, but they are animals. They're going to run at some point. They're going to get into trouble. Porcupines are out. Skunks are out. Other dogs might not be good with, you know, other dogs. So keep them under control, and um, hopefully that will help keep them safe. And also, um, highly encourage everyone to have little dog tags for their dogs with your best contact information. Say you only have a cell phone. Put that cell phone number on there. That way if somebody finds your missing dog, they can call you directly instead of having to bring the police into the matter or bring them into the shelter. Because once they come in here, once the police are involved, there's usually a fee. Um, and I know most people don't want to pay a fee. So get that little $7 tag so people can get a hold of you and get your pet back to you quicker. Um, also, we're very excited. We, we have been plugging this for the past few months, but we're working with an organization called Chris's Pets for Vets, which covers adoption fees for cats and dogs um, for active military or retired military personnel. So, if you're looking for a companion animal and you fit that criteria, there is no fee to adopt here. There is an application process still, as there is for everyone, but no adoption fee for you. So, if you're interested in learning more, give us a call. Um, also, we're happy to provide whatever um, food and pet supplies we can to those in need. So if you have a pet in your home and you're having trouble, you know, this month or this year um, providing food and resources for that animal and you need a little extra help, give us a call and we will put you on the list. Uh, we'll pull items aside when we get donations. You can come pick them up. We also give uh, pet supply donations to the Wolfboro Food Pantry, Wakefield Food Pantry, and Ossipi Food Pantry, which is at the Agave Church. Um, so you can pick items up there. We'll hold them here for you. And we work with the Meals on Wheels programs. Um, so if you're a Meals on Wheels recipient already, and you'd like Meals on Wheels to deliver pet supplies for your pet uh, free of charge, we work with them to get those supplies over to you as well. So hopefully you'll take us up on those community services. The number here is 539-1077. Check us out on Facebook and at lrhs.net. Thanks for coming in today. Hi folks. Um, remember Mr. Shaggy, um, a senior cat here at the Lakes Region Humane Society. Um, he is also sponsored. So if you have an approved app and he is a good match for you, his adoption fee is zero. It's been taken care of. So we're hoping that it helps get him adopted and find his forever home. Um, so we have multiple cats here at the shelter that are sponsored. So you have um, a lot of cats to pick from um, who are sponsored. So we think that's great news. So um, come on by and ask to see who is sponsored. I'd like to introduce Kenny. Um, she is, she's about one year old. Um, she is enjoying some delicious fresh catnip. So she is, um, so we could film. So I wanted her to sit still because <laughs> she's on the move. Um, she is um, stayed up to date on all vaccines. Um, she's not a big fan of other cats. So we do have her, um, by herself with other cats in the room in cabinets um, but she really likes to be the only only cat and and um, have her own food have her own litter box etc um, so she's not a big fan of other cats but that's all right um, she does have her left ear notched as you can see um, she was going to be um, a barn cat, so at one point it was decided that she didn't get along with people um, and would do best in a barn. Um, and we have found that she is, um, she certainly is um, um, rambunctious and um, not a shy cat, but definitely not a feral cat. Definitely, she does not mind people at all. Um, you can pet her. Um, she's happy she's having catnip, so um, so we're happy to have her. Um, she was named, although she has a boy's name, she is definitely female. Um, she's healthy, she's up to date, microchipped, 
and um, ready to find her forever home. So come on by and ask to see Kenny. Hi folks, um, I'd like to introduce a new cat up for adoption here at the Lakes Region Humane Society in Ossipee, New Hampshire. This is Garvin. He is about one year old. He is a neutered male. He's an orange tabby. Um, he is, he would be a fantastic indoor outdoor cat. He was uh, born outside. So luckily he's, he is very friendly, but I think he really misses being outside. So um, he's not, um, doesn't show any feral tendencies or in other words, he is friendly with people and that's important. <laughs> especially to get adopted. He is vocal sometimes, he will talk to you. Um, so if he starts meowing, I won't be surprised. Um, so Garvin is looking for his home and he's not, not being, uh, not participating with the camera today, but he is friendly, he's young. So um, if you're looking for a young cat, come on by and ask to see Garvin. I'd like to introduce another wonderful cat here, up for adoption at the Lakes Region Humane Society. This is Whitey. She was found at the same location as Garwin, and um, she is, um, they really get along very well. They probably, they're quite sure they know each other. They probably look outside together. Um, she's probably about four. Um, and he's, um, he's about one years old. She is a female. She does obviously get along with other cats and so does he. Um, they both do miss being outside, but, um, ideally we'd like someone to take them on so that way they could have access to, uh, indoor being indoor and outdoor. Um, <laughs> um. She just winked, so that means that means that's a good day. Um, so Whitey, uh, spayed female, up to date on all vaccines. They are both microchipped. Um, they do love each other. Um, so we have one, two cats up for adoption at the Lakes Region Humane Society in, in Ossipee. So give us a visit, give us a call. They're waiting. Hi folks, I'd like to introduce a, one of our new beauties here at the Lakes Region Humane Society in Ossipee, New Hampshire. This is Daisy. She came in with her brother, uh, no fault of her own. Um, Daisy and Daryl are a bonded pair. He is basically her twin. Same markings. Um, she's getting a little squirmy because she's not a fan of being held, but she is very affectionate. <laughs> Um, she is, uh, they are very friendly, um, they were very easy to deal with on the first day. Daryl and Daisy are a bonded pair, they are both four years old, um, they are super friendly. Um, she spayed and he is neutered now, um, they are microchipped, um, up to date on rabies and distemper, they are just really friendly, um, Probably a laid back home with not a lot of crazy activity would be perfect for them. Um, they're worth the trip, so come on and see Daryl and Daisy. This is the magical Daryl, who is so not concerned about being on camera, but we love him. He is, um, yeah, he's the mate to Miss Daisy, and he absolutely is delicious. He loves to be petted. Absolutely. They are both very affectionate. So they I don't know if they'll be lap cats. I know they um they love love to be love to be petted and touched and absolutely um adore people. They're not real sure about being in a in a humane society. Um they but they are tolerating it very well. Um anybody would be lucky to have them, they're wonderful. Um so this is Daryl. I'd like to introduce August. August was also born in uh, the same location as Benji. And so they are um, both about six months old. And I wanted to make sure um, 
that we did that we did include him because he is awful sweet. Um, he's worth a trip. Um, August is up to date on all vaccines and microchipped and ready for his home. You are seeing a beautiful kitten and her name is Benji. She was um, born in a barn um, and is just going to need a little bit of time. She's a little bit shy. Um, once after a little bit though she does she does relax um, but she will need a little more attention where she is at a little bit of a shy kitten and she's not quite so eager to see you but she doesn't know what you can offer her and that's lots of love and lots of kindness and that's what she needs um, so Benji is um, she's probably about six months old and um, just looking for her home. Sometimes they're brave, sometimes they're shy. They all have their own story, just like people. So come on by, check out our kittens. We have lots of them. Um, adults, adult cats, so older, younger, everything in between. Look forward to seeing you. Well, folks, I just want to um, just give you guys an update that um, Willow is still here. She's still at our shelter waiting for her forever home. Um, she really is um, come out of her shell since she first started. Um, she A little bit of coaxing and she came right out of her uh, carpeted condo. That is her go-to for when she wants to um, kind of hide a little bit. She's really, um, really a nice girl. She is, she's a little bit longer haired. Um, so we would call her a long-haired, domesticated cat. Hello. Um, just looking for, you know, a house that's um, a little on the quiet side. Um, she's not really a big fan of other cats. Um, so for her to be like the best, the best of her best, um, to be the only cat. Since the last um, filming, um, we have had somebody come forward and pay for her adoption. So she's 100% sponsored, which means um, we um, there is no cost at the time of adoption. We just need an approved app um, and to make sure that she's a good match for you. So, goodness, come and see Willow. Well, I wanted to give you folks uh, an update on GW. He His adoption is 100% paid for. At the time of adoption, um, we require an approved application. That is great news for him, and we hope it helps him get adopted. So come on by and ask to see which cats are sponsored. You folks at home uh, might recognize this cat. This is Miss Penny. She's been with us for a couple of months. Um, and the good news about her is um, she's doing great here, but not as well as her forever home. And to help make that possible, a, a super nice uh, Samaritan has come forward and paid for her adoption. So if you have an approved app and are interested in her and she's a good match, the adoption fee is zero. So come on by and ask to see if Penny is the right girl for you.